Valorant is a fun game to play, but it does require really good communication with your teammates. My name is Idullah, you're watching Candido Technology, and in this video, we're talking about how you can fix voice chat settings in Valorant. So if for whatever reason your mic isn't being picked up in Valorant and you can't do uh, any of sort of voice communication, the first thing that you actually need to do is to head to window settings and check whether your mic is being detected or not. Now uh, the simplest way around it is to just press windows key plus I to open windows settings and in here we're going to search for sound settings. Click on the first result that pops up and now as you can see I have my microphone being detected here. Uh, if I head over to the volume section, you can see that I am talking in my mic and uh, it's actually picking up volume. So you can adjust this level right here and it will affect how uh, loud or what your detection threshold is when it comes to uh, sort of the game. You can uh, expand on this. So uh, if I zoom out, you'll see that this device is currently in use because I'm screen recording and uh, you have all of your different settings here. Uh, so, um, for example, allow apps and windows to use this device for audio. It's not allowed because we're not using this for audio. We're using it for audio input. And then, of course, you have uh, a test your microphone. You have um, uh, the quality settings for it right here. So make sure all of this is set up and enabled and that your mic is actually showing up in this list before you uh, try diagnosing the issue inside of Valorant. Next up are uh, audio access uh, or hardware access settings that also can affect whether or not Valorant can access your mic. So uh, if we go to microphone uh, access, uh, you will see microphone privacy settings right here. I'm just going to click on this. And then uh, there is a section in the privacy and security settings that control how apps use hardware devices on your PC. So for example, microphone access should be enabled. And then uh, you can see a list of apps that can access your microphone. So if I scroll down in this, you should see uh, Valorant somewhere in this list. So you can see uh, the last time I played Valorant, it accessed my mic and I was able to use it in there. So make sure that uh, Valorant is uh, on this list. Uh, if it's not, you can just go ahead and uh, uh, add something to this list which is going to be fine uh, mostly you will see uh, let this slider so which says let desktop apps access your microphone so desktop apps uh, are different from your windows store apps that you get so any apps that you download from the microsoft store will be on uh, this list and then any apps that you install usually will be from this slider which says let desktop apps access your microphone this should be enabled and then you'll see a list of all desktop apps that use mic and valorant should be here make sure valorant is allowed and can access your mic before we move to the game to check the in-game settings So if you've checked all the window settings and they seem to be in order, let's take a look at your Valorant in-game settings. To do that, just uh, head over to the top right corner, press the settings icon there and then click on settings again. Now in here, we've got uh, several settings to take a look at. So let's just first head to audio. Um, all right. And now you have uh, your different volumes here. Make sure that this is all set up properly. The more important thing here is the voice chat section right here. So uh, make sure that your input device is set to the correct one. In most cases, this will be the default system device, but you can click and select whatever mic you want from here for that manual. Uh, make sure that the uh, incoming volume, uh, and mic volume and mic sensitivity thresholds are all set accordingly. You can enable or disable party voice chat. Make sure that it's on. Party voice activation mode can be anything. It can be push to talk or automatic. I've set it to automatic because of the ease of use. And then make sure that team voice chat is also enabled and whatever your push to talk key is, it's set up properly. It's very important to be able to do these, uh, set these settings uh, in the correct order so that your mic once detected can actually function inside of Valorant. There is also a voiceover section which uh, doesn't really do much so you can just ignore that. The most important settings are these in the voice chat. So make sure that they're all up and in order. Your party voice activation mode uh, and your uh, team chat uh, voice mode is also very important. 
now you can uh, only have automatic act voice activation inside of your party you cannot have it inside of the team voice chat for which you will have to uh, use a push to talk key which as you can see in my case is set to v so make sure that these keys are set properly you can just click this button to quickly edit voice chat key bindings and uh, your valorant mic should be up and running in no time As a last measure, if nothing else seems to work, you can try running the Windows Audio Troubleshooter. To do that, just press Windows key plus I to uh, launch Windows settings and just search for uh, Troubleshoot. So you'll see this Troubleshoot settings section. Click on this. In here, click on Other Troubleshooters. And now this will give you a list of all troubleshooters that are active on your system. We want to run the audio one, so just go ahead and click this button and let the troubleshooter do its job. Uh, in most cases, this should be able to fix any issues that you could not find in any of the earlier steps. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website, Candidate Technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, and we'll see you in the next video.